I am just shocked beyond belief that this would happen um, here at Walgreens, a place that we trust. 745,355. That's how many prescriptions Kim Tian Lee handled in the course of a decade as a pharmacist and pharmacy manager at Walgreens. Walgreens should have done a better job in screening. Thing is, the state's board of pharmacy says Lee lied about being a pharmacist. It makes me suspect um, of how we're checking pharmacist backgrounds. The board says Lee told them she'd gone to Creighton University, but records reveal she'd never graduated and when the board asked Lee for her pharmacist license number they discovered she'd allegedly used the license numbers of two pharmacists with similar names but how had she allegedly duped Walgreens for so long and even get promoted the board says Walgreens couldn't even say if they'd requested or reviewed Lee's license a Walgreens spokesperson told KPIX 5 in a statement part quote we undertook a re-verification of the licenses of all our pharmacists nationwide to ensure that this was an isolated incident. Can you tell me if the allegations are true against Kim? Sorry, have a nice day. The man who answered the door at the address the board reported as being Lee's denied she lived there. You guys need to leave because I have already told you guys what you guys needed to okay. know. When the board questioned Lee, they say she told them, quote, me and my son would be very grateful if you could just forget about this. Does Kim want to say anything for our story? Something has to change either with Walgreens or the way that people are checked for their background.